Uh, thank you, buddy, for inviting us here. Uh, pag nagpe-present po ako, um, nagpe-present, may mga co-presenters po ako. Co-presenters ko po yung dalawa kong anak. So, uh, I will give the hand first to uh, Ra uh, the mic to, to Rabi kasi he's in charge of the first few slides before I take over. Thank you. Uh, so, hello po. Ako po si Rabi Morris and I, ako po isang batang Filipino farmer. And when I tell people na I live in my family farm, they ask me, what do we offer in Mocha Family Farm? And ang sagot ko po, we don't offer farm tours, we offer family farming learning experience. So, what is farm tourism? Farm tourism is the enterprise of attracting guests and tourists to visit a family farm, ranch, or any agricultural, horticultural, and agribusiness operations for the purpose of enjoyment, education, experience, or partip participation in farm activities and or other, uh, other offered. But it doesn't end there. Uh, it's not farm tourism without providing supplemental income for the farm and for the farm owner. So, agritourism can be categorized into two, two different things. Family farm agritourism and commercial farm agritourism. Family farms and commercial agri-farms go into farm tourism for different reasons. Larger farm enterprises have far more in common with commercial hospitality like hotel and resorts. For smaller family farm operations, it is more like a lifestyle entrepreneurship and pro private hospitality. The sharing of rural experience with outsiders is one key reason why farmers engage in tourism. I would like to call my kuya to tell you about the story of Mocha Family Farm before development. So, good morning po. Ako po si uh, Bobby Morris po. Ako din ay isang batang Filipino farmer din po. So here I will tell you about uh, Mocha Family Farm before development po. Uh, in 2006, my teacher Nanay and my Tita Mimi po, uh, they went uh, to Batangas to buy the farm. So it became our day destination for our family. In 2009, we started going to the farm more often and it became our weekend place for our family. Then in 2013 po, uh, my tatay went to Afghanistan po so he can do horticultural work and he can do the farmers and farmers, farmers to farmers program. So it, we moved to the farm and it became our home. And now to the present, naging farm tourism place for our farm guests po siya. So the Rabi Rabbitry was Mocha Family Farm's first project. So we hit uh, Typhoon Glenda, like any farm in the Carlborson area, we were hit by Typhoon Glenda po. So we were devastated. So at that time, we were in Las Vegas and we were viewing the photos. Um, my teacher, Nanay, said that, baka ibenta na lang po yung farm. Kaso ang sinabi ko naman sa kanya na, di ba nai, we bought this farm so we can make good memories po. So my teacher and I created the repurposing strategy. Namin. Five F's and one E model. The family farm, food, fun, faith, and education. So guests can attend our experiential learning activities and training, such as the local food appreciation course. And this year, we started test the NC classes on agri-crops production NC1 and NC2. Events Management NC3, and Food Beverages Services NC2, then we'll have more programs later. And guests can also spend the day and join us in our day-to-day -day family farm operations such as bread making, uh, seed propagations, harvesting kung nasa season na po, and food preservation such as pickling, drying, and fermenting. So here po is uh, one of our doing our bread making activities we added blue ternatea to our bread dough. So, my, uh, since we cannot do farming alone, uh, my teacher Nanay went out and reaching out to the family farm community. 
So here, uh, my teacher and I curated um, the Farm Tourism uh, Stakeholders Meetup event at Terra Verde. And we also got to Pampanga. So my teacher Nana is very proactive in family farming. Po. Uh, so she uh, hosted the first national small and family farming, New and Beginning Farmers Conference. Uh, my Nana also went to Virginia, USA. Po, so she can present about the state of small farms in the Philippines. So tatawagin ko na po si teacher Nana po, so she can talk more about it. Thank you, Bobby. Um, so, I mentioned you, uh, she, uh, Bobby keeps on referring to me as teacher nani kasi nga po, I'm a homeschool mom. So, I homeschool my kids. So, yung farm namin is also their, for, uh, their school. So, it is a farm school for my boys. You know? So, whenever I am invited, madras sinasabi ko at tinatanong ko ang question ko, are you here because you wanted to learn to farm? Pero if you start going to farm, are you farming for hobby? Or are you farming for profit? So, madalas yun ang ano ko. Kasi there are a lot of us go to farming for several reasons. And both of them, kadalasan dalawa lang. No? So, either we're farming for hobby or personal reasons dahil meron tayong mga uh, lupa na hindi natin nagagamit. Sino po rito yung may mga lupa na hindi nyo pa nagagamit kaya gusto nyo mag-farming? Raise of hands po. Okay. Sino po yung nasa farming na? Eh, ano pong ginagawa ng iba? Uh, interesado lang sa agribusiness? Okay, alright, good. Okay, so ngayon, dahil interesado kayo in agribusiness, I wanted to find out. You have to ask yourself that question. Are you going to farm for profit or for hobby? Kasi, some of us, lalo yung mga retirees, no? yung mga, or mga returning Filipinos, ako po kasi ang profile namin, returning Filipinos. Noon na po kaming uh, pumunta ng uh, Philippines, ang sabi ko, gusto ko mag-farming. It was not really for the intent of making a profit. It is really more for personal reasons, hobby, and other than that, meron din pong advocacy. May kahalong advocacy, meron passion in doing it. Uh, ang husband ko po is an extension agent uh, for uh, University of Nevada. So talagang he works with a lot of farmers. All of his 35 years in service, he works with a lot of farmers. He go both uh, domestically and internationally. So he do a lot of uh, farmers to farmers program, uh, professionally and in volunteer work as well. So kami po all our life, all our marriage life, plus you know, mga bata, na, wala kami, uh, uh, lahat ng ano namin, nakikita namin, my husband works with a lot of farmers. So, I saw all of his programs, and in a lot of ways, that was my inspiration to go back, into, to go into farming. So, no una, nag-start talaga ko talaga for personal reasons. It is not for profit. And then, as we move along, medyo na iba yung goal. No? Kasi when you go to farming, farming can be both a lifestyle choice and an enterprise choice. So, yung reasons new for farming will determine your course of action or your plans for the farm. Uh, kasi nga, it can either be a personal reason, so i-weigh nyo yan, i-weigh nyo siya. Bakit ba talaga? Or, kung gusto nyo na dumating kayo dun sa, kasi pagdating dun sa personal scale, hindi nyo iniisip masyado yung cost eh. Hindi nyo iniisip kung kumikita ba kayo or what. In fact, hindi nga kayo nag-iisip na hindi nyo kinoconsider yung farming as an enterprise. So, wala, nasaya ka lang nagpa-farm. Some of you probably nag-garden. Masaya, di ba? Nakikita natin tumubo yung buto. Oh, wow! So, uh, yun ang ano natin. Ganun lang. Ganun lang una, reason natin ba tayo nagpa-farming eh. But then, once you go into it, pag mayroon ka na pinatatrabaho, nagbabayad ka na. Ayan na, masakit na sa bulsa. Ano po? Uh, so, yung mga, uh, so, yung mga nasa uh, currently ginagawa na yung farming, nagsastart na kayo ng farming at hindi pa rin kayo kumita, sumasakit na yung ulo nyo kasi hindi naman ninyo iiwanan yung mga tao ninyo ng you cannot just let them go, right? You have to continuously support them. And sometimes it comes from your own pocket. Ang sakla pa, no? Mag-farming, tapos ginaga, gumagastos ka na, uh, uh, tapos minsan mahina pa yung production mo. So, ang sustainable, a sustainability balance in farming, lagi, merong economic viability. Tapos, uh, in family farming, meron dalawa yan, eh, yung ecological integrity and social equity. Kadalasan tayo, pagka nasa personal pa lang tayo, panay social equity lang kasi gusto mong makatulong, gusto mong sa mga, uh, sa family, ganyan. Tapos, et, meron din yung ecological equity kasi gusto mong, to like, also for food security, you want to preserve um, some uh, indigenous fruit trees, yung mga ganon. So, yun ang reason. Yung sa taas, 
wala, walang economic viability. But this is important because this is what will hold all of the two, uh, the two other things. So, ano ba yung agribusiness? So, this is an uh, intro to agribusiness. So, when we talk about agribusiness, ang ibig sabihin niyan, uh, ito yung business of agricultural production and all other enterprise created as a result of interdependence. So, uh, Take note of the word interdependence ano, uh, of various sectors within the production chain. It can include agrochemicals, breeding, crop production, farming, or contract farming, na usok usok para sa mga small scale farmers, distribution, farm machinery, processing, seed supply, as well as marketing and retail sales. Uh, lahat yan, part yan ang tinatawag natin na agribusiness system. So, napakalaki ng opportunity in agriculture. Sabi nga namin, pag nag-uusap kami, there is... Uh, no multinational company that can dominate the agri industry because not unlike um, unlike uh, in, um, motor in uh, automotive industry garments industry semicon industry you can find multinational company who can dominate it like when you talk about automotive industry ilan lang naman sila no mabibilang niyo by hands kung sino talaga yung mga key players pagdating sa agri business yes you will have also some key players but no single multinational company or a group of multinational company can feed the world. So, there's a lot of opportunities for everyone. So, yung typical agricultural production operation, ganito. So, yung farm, madalas meron kang basic farm inputs, uh, fertilizer, herbicides, soil amendments, tapos yung mga farm tools and equipment, farm supplies, such as seeds, seedlings, seedling bags, tapos labor, tapos lalabas yung farm produce mo, no? or even yung mga livestock natin, and then it goes to the market. Yan ang typical na agricultural production operation. Pero dahil uh, we are in the 21st century uh, na ngayon, hindi na pa pwedeng ganun pa rin, hindi pwedeng typical. No? Kasi kung typical lang, hindi tayo kikita sa typical. So as a 21st century farmer, we have to become what we call multifunctional farmers. So, when I say multifunctional farmers, what is it? So, from a typical agricultural production operation, we move into this, a diversified agribusiness operation. So, pag sinabi natin diversified agribusiness operation, ang dami niyo pwedeng pasukan, ano? Um, ganito dapat yan. So, yung arrows na yan, dapat mara meron pa yung mga inter... Uh, Dapat, it can go on different direction, multi-direction. So from a uh, typical agribusiness operation, it can go into, um, let's say, it's a basic farm inputs. Pwede ka na rin kung nakakagawa ka ng mga basic farm inputs, pwede ka na rin makapagbenta sa yung fellow farmers or sa cooperative, at pwede rin siya sa general consumer's market. And you'll be able to create more multiple markets. So like that. In our case, we focus more on the other aspect, what we call the farm tourism operations. Yung farm tourism operations, multiple din ang market niyan. Uh, sabi nga ni um, Bobby, uh, or ni Rabi, ang ating, when we talk about farm tourism operations, lagi yung tatlo, experience, education, and entertainment. No? So, we ask, um, so anything that will ex uh, make our guests experience the farm, educate them in the farm, and entertain them in the farm. No? So yun lahat yun, ang dami nyo pwedeng isipin. Sometimes, sinasabi ko nga sa ating mga farmers, ang, uh, ang naglilimit lang sa atin yung creativity natin. Yung ating kakayahan na mag-isip ng maayos kung papaano natin ma-reach out yung tamang market. No? So ang daming opportunity for all of us. So for us, um, when we do farm tourism, uh, as also mentioned by the boys, Meron tayong dalawang uh, pupeding category. Yung family farm tourism at saka yung commercial farm tourism. Kung maliit ka lang, and she probably wanted to capitalize on what we call a family farm tourism. Parang yung mga BNB, sino mga nagbubuk sa inyo rito sa Airbnb? O oh, yan, marami na. May mga nagbubuk na sa inyo from Airbnb. Very similar concept. Ano? Kay, tayo ngayon, meron tayong tinatawag na, ano eh, uh, this is a free economy. So marami tayong tinatawag natin na mga, kaya nga, sino nag-Uber sa inyo, sino nag-Grab sa inyo. Kasi ang ano natin ngayon, it's a uh, shared business ang ano natin, eh, right? So with that, um, when we say experience, Marami na tayo mga fa farm tourism na on a hospitality base, on a smaller scale. Sabi ko nga, yung Filipino hospitality, kadalasan, in farm tourism, it's either gonna push us forward or pull us backward. Why? 
Ano sa palagay ninyo ang common problem ng mga farm owners when they go to family farm tourism? 